This is the entrance to the Stingray facility. Could you get me access to that gate console? I meant that rhetorically. I mean, you need to. Uh, we've got a problem. The security system's being all fighty and feisty, so... Oops, sorry. I'll work on opening the door. You deal with the turrets. Fine. But for a military-grade AI, that was slow. I've hacked the turret so they only fire at talks. Should help a bit. I'll get this stubborn thing open. Hopefully. Hey, kids. How's it going down there? Having fun? Keeping things on track with the whole robot army plan? We're a little behind schedule, but on top of the mission. Hey, G, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Hello? Uh, help? I'm being held hostage in the main control room just ahead of your current position. Any chance you could, you know, rescue me? The bloody scabs will eat me when they realize I'm not what I say I am. Am I glad to see you? Here I was doing some help yourself exploring, working on a pet project I've been cooking up when the scabs swept in, about to cut me up bad when I persuaded them I'm a medic. I am a doctor, but more the Hyperion R&B kind. Jack, you know this guy? I don't recognize him. Yeah, what's your name? Ah, uh, sorry bruv, Gladstone Katoa, D Division. What brings you here? Oh, D-Division, that's where they hide all the Brainiacs who work on the, all the super secret awesome stuff, right? Uh, I work on experimental tech. The Division Green lit me using the resources here. Why are you here? Well, Gladstone Katoa, I need to get back to Helios and retake the big-ass laser on it from a bunch of freaky-looking doll military types. And if we don't, the moon's gonna go boom and take half of Pandora with it. You know, the huge. Oh, man. I wondered what was going on. So... Why are you here? Shouldn't you be somewhere more space stationy? Jack wants to build a robot army driven by my AI, then retake Helios with it. I'm Felicity, by the way. Oh. Gotcha. You're after my prototype. Well, it's not finished. What? No, we're here to build robots. What prototype are you talking about? Ah, oh, right. I was working on an uh, off-the-books project, creating a master bot capable of digistructing an almost unlimited supply of other bots. My prototype's almost done, but the scav stopped me from installing some key parts. Besides, I wouldn't want something that powerful to fall into their grimy hands. This guy? This guy right here? Tell me more. Yeah, bro. We'll just need to finish putting the hardware together. After that, install a military-grade AI and POW! It should pump out combat-ready loaders. Way ahead of you, man. What do you think old Felicity is here for? What? You want me inside some kind of constructor bot? That's not what I had in mind. Ooh, constructor. I like it. Nice. So, uh, tech dude, this prototype can digistruct combat loaders, right? Because, to be honest, those power suits seem kind of lame. Yeah, totally. But first, you'll need to finish putting together the prototype. You'll need to get access to the main bot factory itself through the transportation gate. I'll monitor the systems from here. All right, go Team Robot Army. Do I not get a say in this? Sure, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Just make my loaders deadly. By the way, last guy who double-crossed me has got nothing but a bunch of bullet holes and a stupid look on his face. Get me? Why would I cross you, bro? You're trying to save the moon and you seem like a stand-up guy. Plus, you're about to help me complete my life's work. my friend. No refunds. <laughs> Hyperion just didn't have the resources on Helios for my project. And there was all this old dull tech just left, lying around. They gave me an escort team. 
but the scavs chewed them up pretty quick. I wonder if that's what happened to them. Anyway, then I was on my own. Ah, uh, yeah, Hyperion didn't send us. I did. But you're Hyperion. Oh, bruv, they're the coolest company. Best three years of my life. Would never want to work for anyone else. You picked a winner here, Felicity. I don't want to count talks before they're hatched, but you know what? I think you're right. Looks like a junkyard. Are you sure we can build something badass up in here? Of course, bruv. The scabs make it look way worse than it is. First thing we need to do is restore the main power. Head over to the breaker room and see what's what. Okay, the main breaker should be in this room. Just flip it on. Oh, sorry. That electrified the water. At least this place has power now. That. Good people is the sound of progress. One step closer to saving the world. Okay, let's get down to serious business now. The first thing we need to do is complete the eye part. That's the really clever bit. I already have the process set up, but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Well, let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The little buggers pack quite a punch. Head back to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared. <gasps> Lab. I'll walk you through the process. It should already be set up. Okay, just place the pieces in that converter over there. It'll melt down the raw materials and form the prototype eye. An eye converter? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. There it goes. All my hard work finally paying off. We're seeing history in the making. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, now pick it up. Brand new weapon for a brand new war. Okay, now head back to the main room. We need to plug that baby into the main torso. <laughs> Flip that latch and the cage should open. Is this what we're building? Oh, I was so close to finishing this when the scabs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots, enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Ah, oh, it's, uh, looks kind of like a dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. This constructor will be able to digistrate highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. Oh, bruv, this is really happening! It's working! My old professor said I'd never amount to anything, but she was wrong! And now look at me. You want me inside that thing? I've been wondering about this installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scammed. Oh, 
Let me think about it. That's good, that's good. Now we need to attach the turrets, then the legs. The turrets just need to be calibrated. I can help prepare the targeting systems. Oh, that's okay, thanks. I've got a fast way to do that. We're so nearly there! Feels like mercenary day! So this is going to be my new home, huh? <laughs> Not sure I want to move in. Right. The legs are in the other lab. They're still attached to an experimental version of the dial power suit. So you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. Okay, I'm ready to detonate. Stand back. Perfect, Felicity. Vault Hunter, can you use the controls to lower the torso onto the legs? Yeah, this is gonna get awesome. God, awesome. It's a brute, isn't it? Instructions complete, finally! The shell just needs to go through testing in the diagnostics chamber. We'll be able to install the AI core Felicity then. stuff anything that can help us in a fight trash the rest felicity i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i can hear myself dying i can no stop it no 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 Full construction. okay okay not bad but you know what appearances do matter they need a little more... Je ne sais quoi. Let's go with Hyperion Yellow. Yes, sir! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Should I go ahead and start creating more? Yeah, you bet your ass. You know what? Come to think of it, other stuff needs a kick in the pants, too. Let me get that down. Think up awesome new names and colors for Hyperion weapons. All right, I think we're good to go. Come back to Moxie's, we'll get you geared up and ready for the big fight. For now, I need you to take that claptrap you found and plug him into the security terminal. He can lower the defenses leading to the eye of Helios laser. The claptrap died. Are you kidding me? I swear to God, if I ever become CEO, I'm gonna destroy every last one of those friggin' things. Good. Now we can't lower the Helios defenses. Oh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Jack, my team's been down in R&D. We're bloody surrounded. Sorry, Gladstone, but I just had an idea. Vault Hunters, get to R&D and rescue Gladstone's team. They can hack those defenses for us and open up the way to the eye. God, I'm smart. Oh, glad you made it. Come find me, but be careful. The talks broke out of their cages. Get ready! Kill those talks so we can talk. Now that I think about it, I do remember Gladstone. He helped set up R&D on his own. Hired the team all by himself, made a lot of pretty cool stuff. He's a decent enough guy.
think I can get you to the Eye of Helios, but I need some help. Sorry, I messed up. Three of my fellow scientists got stuck in here when Zarpadon's forces attacked. Sorry. If you can free them, we can lower the defenses leading to the eye. You don't need to apologize so much. Right. Sorry. I mean, not sorry. I mean, um... I'll head back to Jack's office now. Oh, cool. Jack sent help. Well, I'd love to get out of here, but the soldiers released stalkers into my office, then they took my stuff. I, I lost a picture of my kid. C could you get it for me? I know it sounds dumb, but if I don't get that picture of my son back, he'll freak. He likes to know I'm thinking of him. Kind of dorky, but sweet. Oh, Dr. Langlois. Yeah, he helped design the loaders back when they just carried around boxes and stuff. Smart enough, dude. His kid smells like soup, though. <laughs> Oh, you found the photo. Cool. Yeah, if I come home without that, my son would have thrown his feces on the wall. <laughs> you know, you know how 19-year-olds are. Anyway, come on back. I got something for you. How's your son been doing, anyway? It's great. He's got a girlfriend. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. He, he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Not even close. Could I have that photo, please? Thanks. That ugly face gets me through the day. Here's something for your troubles. I'll open the way for you, but be careful. Lots of baddies on the other side. I'll meet you back at Jack's office. Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks again for helping me out with that dumb family stuff. See you later, Vault Hunter. See ya. You saved Dr. Langua. Great. Just rescue the last two scientists and we can get you to the eye laser. But for reals, though, please be careful. Dr. Torres came up with a lot of advancements in marine biology, pressure resistance, stuff like that. I mean, it's not that sexy, but his stuff sells like hotcakes on the aquamarine planets. <clears throat> Got your teddy bear. Coming back now. Great! I'll let you in! No! Wait! Kill that thing first or I'll die! I hate dying! You're still but good at fighting! Jeez! I'll let you in! me down. Ah, oh, the 
Thanks for bringing my teddy bear. I feel way less scared now. I'll let you into the next area. Now, thanks for saving me! That's Doctors Longua and Torres. Just rescue Dr. Grayson and we can lower the eye of Helios defenses for you. Hey, uh, so I'd escaped, but I may have uh, dropped my key card and, uh, and a stalker ate it. Can you track the key down and, and, and get me out of here? So, you dropped your keys? Hey, my doctorate's in iridium experimentation, not holding onto your keys without dropping them. My college didn't offer that major. Doc Grayson's working on some cloaking tech I want to start using on Hyperion snipers when it's done. <laughs> Just imagine it. They take position, turn invisible, and then pfft, bad guys literally have no idea what hit them. I mean, you know, they're, they're probably going to assume it was a bullet because there'd be a bullet hole in them, but whatever. It's freaking awesome. Thanks for the help. Let me uncloak the exit. Is that a portable cloaking device? Yeah, I made it out of stalker glands for Jack. Even made it look like his pocket watch. Can you give it to him? Whoops. Why am I not surprised? Man, I've got a mild case of the shivers. Thanks for rubbing it in. Y'all are jerks. You did great! With all the scientists rescued, we can help you get to the eye laser. I'll meet you back at Jack's. Gladstone, why does Zarpedon still have control over Helios' defenses? We shut down the jamming signal on Elpis. The Vault Hunter shouldn't even have to be saving your asses right now just so you can lower the shields. No offense. Ah, uh, Zarpedon might have a weaker signal jammer on her person. She could have another mole in Helios, like the Merif. Or she probably just manually rewired the security system. Wait, 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 wait. There might be another traitor on Helios? That's only one possibility. I... Jack? Jack, you there? Athena? Roland. Ro and I just fought our way across the other side of Helios. Hope you guys didn't have all the fun on this end. The scientists just shut down the defenses leading to the laser. Got one last thing to wrap up before I send you off, though. Let's dock. Oh, hey, cool. Cloaking device, huh? Thanks, Doc. Still alive, thanks to you. Much obliged. Yo, you are great. You're great. You guys disabled the defenses leading to the big-ass laser. Uh, we're gonna head off and shut it down, but I'm gonna summon my personal escape ship to get you guys the hell out of here. Vault Hunter, uh, hit that button over there. And where is... Ah, here we go. Airlock sealed. Preparing to vent contents of airlock. Wait a minute! New plan, everybody! Dr. Gladstone here informed me that one of you might still be a traitor working for Zarpadon. Might! I said might! Hundreds of innocent lives are on the line here, kiddos. I just can't take the risk. Shoot me in the back once, shame on you. Shoot me in the back twice. For what it's worth, I am really sorry. Jack, don't! <laughs> God. Huh, that felt kind of good. Anywho, uh, let's talk. <clears throat> uh, the path to the Eye of Helios is open. Get through the inner hall and open that fast travel network so I can shut her down. Uh, Roland, Lilith, you stay here, defend my office. May need to retreat here later. Sounds like a plan. Roland, he just murdered... Sounds like a plan. We'll see you when you get back. You know, if I hadn't airlocked those scientists, one of them might have turned those defenses back on just as you were walking through. Would have fried you like a skag steak. 
Think on that. Those people were frightened. They would have done nothing. Eh, yeah, well agreed. Just get to the other end of the inner hall and we can shut down the Eye of Helios. Moxie, we need to talk. <laughs> Damn. What's that? The hell's that about? <laughs>